Honey, a delicious natural sweetener that is perfect for diverse culinary applications, from sauces to cocktails to the star of entrees. And while honeybees are the reason we have access to such a delectable ingredient, they do so much more for our global food supply. They are responsible for pollinating over one third of the world's crops, feeding our planet. And beekeepers are the stewards of honeybees' health and well-being. Todd Youngblood's family has been keeping bees near San Antonio, Texas for four generations, since his great-grandfather started the business in 1925. Todd's hives are in a field surrounded by native Texas plants, like prickly pear, horse mint, guajillo flowers, and mesquite. Honeybees forage the field and then return to the hives with fresh nectar, giving the wildflower honey they produce a distinct South Texas flavor. I'm amazed by the incredibly natural work of honeybees, and I can't wait to see what Chef Steve McHugh is going to do with this honey. Utilizing honey in cooking is amazing because it lends itself to just about any dish, any course. When creating the drink that we did today, I really wanted to use honey as a unifier. We've got spicy bourbon, bitter amaro, acidic lemon juice, and honey becomes that ingredient that ties all the ingredients together. When shaken all together and strained into our coupe glass, you get the beauty not only of the color of the cocktail, but you really start to see the flavors come through and how the honey becomes that underlying ingredient. A lot of the dishes here at Cured, which tend to be a little bit rich, I'd like to add an acidic component, like a pickle. Our spice combination is turmeric, mustard powder, coriander seeds, and cumin seeds, along with a little bit of salt and sugar and apple cider vinegar. The key ingredient to our pickles is the honey, and that helps dissipate some of the spice that's in there, but also helps everything coat the cauliflower as it begins to pickle. After 24 hours, these pickles have permeated that color all the way through. The honey you can taste throughout the entire pickle, and they've kept that crunch, which is super important. Cured is a sustainable kitchen where nothing goes to waste, not even crawfish bodies, and we decided to come up with a sauce that would utilize the crawfish bodies and the honey. After browning the crawfish, we add mirepoix and tomato paste, and then flambe with brandy. After reducing, we add several sprigs of thyme and tarragon, and then, of course, our honey. When the honey gets added, it begins to caramelize and pick up all the flavors off the bottom of the pan, the herbs, the spice, the brandy, and we let it reduce down until we get our caramel. I thought scallops would be the perfect accompaniment to this sauce, and so I seared them off and plated them with some blistered okra. The scallop acts as a perfect vessel to carry this punchy sauce. It's a mouthful of umami, saltiness, the sweetness from the honey. It really just punches up the whole dish. People should care about bees because they connect everything in our food system. I mean, where we are today would not be possible without bees.